No families on this stretch of beach today. Instead, two men in hard hats and high vis combing the sand for more grenades. This is Claire Watson. She found grenade number five here on Sunday and nearly threw it for her dog Bonnie to fetch. She was relieved to see a cordon up and a search underway. I think it's very important because the thing is you don't know how many more are out there because obviously it was the fifth one and it's concerning for the public. If, if it had been a child that had picked that up, you know, they wouldn't have had the sense to sort of put it back down and then report it, they might have thrown it. The man from the council spoke to Mrs Watson to pinpoint exactly where she found the explosive and the area the search should concentrate on. And he gave this reassurance. Information I'm gear getting from the army and from the experts is that these are relatively benign objects. They're not primed, um, so they're quite hard to detonate. But the theory seems to be that because we've found five grenades all in a very similar location, that they're part of a crate. This is a picture Essex Police released of the Mills grenade found on Saturday. It's almost as good as new, suggesting a crate has protected it from corrosive seawater. That crate has somehow been disturbed, perhaps by dredging, because we're very close to the port of Felixstowe here, and that's why the grenades are washing up. Now, the worrying thing is there's often 12 grenades in a crate, so if five have washed up, there may be another seven somewhere in the vicinity. This is amateur footage of one of the grenades being destroyed in a controlled explosion. Meanwhile, knowledgeable locals have possible explanations. My theory is possibly during the Second World War a G-class destroyer called the HMS Gypsy was sunk just off the point here and it's possible that they had some of these hand grenades on board. This business said trade hadn't been hit by the beach's closure but the hope is the search will be finished and the beach reopened by Saturday. Meanwhile, day trippers to Dover Court are being warned to be careful. Gareth George, BBC Look East.